Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Desolation Suicidal. And today I'm lost. Today I am lost. We're open up those Krampus treat tickets today, I think. I'm thinking. I'm think or maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe we do. I'm thinking maybe we don't though. Maybe maybe wait until the event is over and open up all of them at the same time. I don't know. I think I'm thinking that's the better option, right? I'm thinking wait until the event's over and opening up all of them. It's probably better. It's probably cooler. It's more fun that way, right? So yeah, we'll do that. I don't think there's anything in it that I want. I don't really care about cosmetics in this game anyway. I've got all the cosmetics I want. I've got, uh, you know, all my Gunslinger Prestige cosmetics. I've got the perfect uh, character outfit. Can't get better than, than what I've got going on here. Literally just can't. It's it's actually perfect. Um, and then uh, you know gun cosmetics don't really bother me. I, I like the prestige stuff. You know I like I like showing up. I like feeding my ego. So I make a YouTube channel so I can brag about all of the accomplishments I've had. 175? Are you kidding me? Nah, I like, uh, I, don't, I don't really care about the cosmetics. So it's not like the only reason I open them, and this is honest, the only reason I open them is because I'm like, hey, you know what, if I like, you know, put it in the thumbnail that I open up a bunch of crates or something, people will probably want to watch the video more. <laughs> it's the marketing thing. It's all about the marketing. I tried to make a uh, Minecraft video, wishing people a happy new year. I accidentally deleted the world, like, at 11.30, New Year's Eve. I'm like, ah, crap. <laughs> it's gone now. So I was, like, testing things, and everything was exploding, and then I was backing it up, and somewhere along the line, I accidentally deleted the wrong world, and then deleted the wrong world again, and then permanently deleted all of the wrong worlds, and I'm like, why did I just do this? And then I go in, and everything's exploded. I'm like, ah, crud. I don't have the time to like go and rebuild everything, so I wasted like a lot of time trying to build this uh, like Happy New Year celebration video, which was gonna be pretty cool. Um, and I was gonna upload it to YouTube channel and hopefully get some views on it or something, but I just deleted it instead, you know, because that's that's cool. Speaking of marketing, you know, I just you know who, who needs to market when you can just. Uh, you know, spend a, a ton of time developing your marketing materials and then just delete them. That's That works better, right? So anyway, what I'm saying is uh, just like, please like and share my videos so that I can have some kind of redemption for messing that up. At least watch them, dudes. So over on the new channel, uh, you got the link in the description. I think I lost a subscriber today, too. Speaking of uh, marketing. Yeah, I'm at 91 subscribers. It's weird because I, I had... Uh, I think I showed it off, but I was at 92 and I had plus 9 in the last 28 days. Now I'm at 91 and I had plus 10 in the last 28 days. I'm like, ah, uh -huh. don't sound too, uh, don't don't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. But you know, hey, uh, the math the math knows what the math wants, and and the math wants to say that 92 is one more than 90. Or, or 91 is one more than 92 or something. I, I don't know exactly what it's trying to get at here, but we don't question it. We don't question it. We should be hitting 100 soon. That'll be really cool. That'll be my first time hitting 100 on YouTube. I think. I think. Is it? Yeah, I think, I think it is. I think that'll be my first time hitting 100 on YouTube. Not my first time hitting 100 subscribers in general on, on like, any platform. I've had, like, far more than that on, uh on uh, like fanfiction sites and stuff before uh, and I think I've had more than that on Twitch at one point too um, come on come on dude uh, but on YouTube that'll be my first time hitting 100 I believe I don't believe any of my other channels hit 100 like 70 at the most I think so that'll be a cool achievement to get makes me happy but at the same time it kind of makes me sad because uh, I want those on my other channel, but can't complain about 100 subs, right? It's pretty sweet. I mean, you know, the, the alternative is I'll just lose all 91 subscribers, and YouTube will be like, you got 100 subscribers this month, and I'll be like, I don't know about that. 
Seems a little, uh, seems a little sus to me. Seems a little sus. I haven't played Among Us in a while. I should play some of that. It's a good game. I like Among Us. I just I don't have anybody to play it with. I've talked about it before, but I, I am not the kind of person who can play Among Us with randoms. Because I, I will just get voted off every time because I cannot be trusted. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a good. Uh, I'm not a good um, truth teller. I'm a great liar, but that's only because. I'm not good at telling the truth, so everybody already thinks I'm lying anyway, and it's like, well, you know. No matter what I do, I'm going to be lying, so I may as well just lie. And then sometimes you're like, no, you know what, she was telling the truth before, maybe she's telling the truth this time, you know. Maybe she's just actually dumb. And I'm like, yes, I am! But I, I, I end up, like, seeing Black do something, I'm like, um... Saw Yellow murder someone, I think? It was Yellow in, in, the, med in the medic room? They're like, there is no medic room. I'm like... Ah, there, there was something to do with, like, yellow. Ye yellow sus, man. Trust me on that one. It's it's yellow or it might have been white. And then, and then black is like, <laughs> I, mean, I, I just, I can't remember. So I got to play with friends who are able to understand that I'm actually just that bad at, at playing games like that. Otherwise, uh, otherwise they just they don't get it, you know. They gotta be uh, willing to accept the the flaws that come with playing with me. The tribulations. It's a scrake. Maybe it does yeah, I hear you. <laughs> what a shot! What a shot! Gotta admit, it was it was a pretty good shot there, okay? Rock and roll. Gotta admit. You gotta admit. Come on. Come on. Protect the area. I'd like to play Among Us though. I is it's uh, I don't like asking people to play games with me. Because by the time they respond I lose interest in playing games with them. Not because I'm like nervous or like, oh I don't wanna I have too much anxiety, I don't wanna ask them to play games with me. No no no, it's because like I'll message them and be like, hey, you want to play games? And then, like, ten minutes later, they'll respond like, hey, yeah, sure, we could. And I'll be like, yeah, you know what, I already kind of, like, uh, did something else. You were taking too long to respond. It's a bloody strike. And they're like, but I want to play Among Us. I'm like, yeah, no, I, I found something else to do. It's okay. So I have to wait for somebody else to, to ask me. And then I'll be like, yeah, and they'll be, you know, reasonable human beings and wait. Look, it isn't that I'm rude and I'm leaving them, okay? It's that I don't ask because I know I'll be rude. So I'm being polite. Because I know I won't have the, the the will to to wait for somebody to get back to me. I know I won't. I don't. I don't have that kind of uh, you know that that level of ability to, to commit to, to something like that. I just don't. I wish I did. I wish I was somebody who could wait for that. You know, but I'm not. So I just wait for somebody else to ask me. Like I'll drop what I'm doing if somebody else asks, like half the time, or I'll be like, yeah, I can do that in like you know half an hour or something, but. Um, you know, I just, if for some reason, if, if I ask you to play, because it, it's like, you know, when I'm playing something, I don't have a commitment in my head, you know what I mean? Whereas if, if I ask you to play something and you don't respond for 10 minutes and I'm like, all right, well, I'll go and do this, like, I've, I've committed to it, you know? Like, I've made the mental decision that, like, instead of doing that, I'm going to play this. So when you get back, you're like, hey, yeah, we can play. Then I'm like, no, nah, I've already, like committed to this, so I'm doing this, I can't just stop. But, uh, but if you just, like, ask me when I'm doing it already, then I have made that commitment, I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Heck yeah, sounds like fun. Basically what I'm saying is, uh, I'm high maintenance. I feel bad for whoever I have to date in the future. I mean, I'm sure they don't, because they'll, they'll find all the quirks funny and, uh, you know, cute and lovable. And I'll be like, oh, you're so great, but I know I'm annoying. And they'll be like, no, no, really, you're not. And I'll be like, yeah, no, like, it's it's okay, you can just tell me that I'm annoying. They're like, no, really, I don't annoy. And that'll be, like, the main source of tension between us, is is me just arguing that I am annoying them, and them trying to argue that I'm not. That's 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 how my, uh, my love life is going to go. 
I don't speak from experience. I speak from wisdom, and you know, I, 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 I uh, the prophecy has been foretold. It's just the way it'll be, you know. It's the kind of person I am, and that's the kind of person I date. It's just, it's just kind of the way that it'll work. I wish I was, I wish I was joking too. I, I really do. But I'm being completely sincere. It will, it will annoy everybody around us too, because they'll all be like, "Why don't you just like shut up?" <laughs> and then, like, it's, it'll be great. It'll be great. You know, one day in the future. I don't like going through here because it's spook town. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's like pretty spook town in here. Spook town is a, is a phrase I've started using recently. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's it's like uh, it's just kind of a general badness kind of thing. Spook town. You know? Like you see a corridor that looks a little bit uh, unsafe. It's it's Spook Town right there. You know you see um, you know some guy ends up uh, calling you up and is like, "Hey, uh, I thought you looked really cute. Do you have a Discord that I can uh, send you a message on? I have a special picture I want to send you. It's Spook Town, dude. That's what it is. It's Spook Town." So that's my new uh, that's my new thing that I say nowadays. I don't know where it came from. I just started saying it one day. Spooktown. It's gonna catch on. It's, I promise you. It's a catchy thing. Okay, Spooktown. It works in all situations too. Parents are coming over for dinner. Spooktown. Going to your uh, you know high school reunion. Spooktown. Work calling you in for work, you know. You somebody called in sick. They're they're calling you in. Spooktown works for anything. Win the lottery? I'm just I'm just saying. Spooktown. It works in all situations. It's a very uh, useful phrase to have in your repertoire of phrases and words and things. It's, uh, it's something that everybody should have in their arsenal of, you know, spookies. I love when I when it works, you know. Like when when you just have a few heads to to pop and it's just like bop bop bop, you know, and it works. Like I missed too many shots, you know, is the is the thing. Like, I missed that one, I missed that one, I missed those, and that one, and that one, you know? Like, they just, they all get missed, and it's it's a terrible thing. Um, but when you don't miss them, and it's just like, pop, 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 oh! Is there a better feeling? You know there is a better feeling. And, uh, let me tell you what it is. Okay? It's cutting cucumber with a very sharp knife. It's the most satisfying feeling in the world. It really is. If you have not, you know, sliced cucumber with a very sharp... Like, it's got to be super sharp, okay? Like, just super, super sharp, okay? Like, like paper's no resistance. You, you can cut... Like, whatever you want to cut, it'll cut through right just fine. And you take it to a cucumber, and it's just, there's just no resistance. It's just, like, effortless, you know, slicing. It, it, just, it feels so good in the hand to just like feel the blade just like glide through the cucumber. It's a really, really satisfying feeling. And the, the sound that comes from the, the blade like separating the cucumber atoms, it's like not really. My knife isn't like atomically sharp. I don't think anyway. Um, but the, the sound that comes from the cucumber being separated is just otherworldly. And then when you're done, you get cucumber to eat. And it's like, dude. It's all good the whole way down. 
And cucumber's not like a particularly dirty thing, so it's not like super hard to clean your knife afterwards. And It's just a good thing, you know? Slicing cucumber. If it weren't uh, so expensive, it would definitely be a hobby of mine. But like, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to buy that much cucumber. <laughs> and I don't want to have to eat that much cucumber. I love cucumber, okay? It's, it's delightful. Uh, but like, you know, a cucumber a day is a little bit, a little bit too much cucumber. And no, that's a lie. That's definitely a lie. I could eat a cucumber a day and be pretty content with my life. Yeah, like, like a nice long English cucumber. It's a delightful thing. It really is. I could, I could eat an entire one. I don't because, like, I just don't. But, like, if you bought me, like, 30 cucumbers, like a cucumber every day for a month, they, they would get eaten. It, they're just, like, a great snack. And, like, if you, if you, if you, like, you, you normally slice with your blade straight, like, perpendicular to the board, right? I rub my hands together, like, perpendicular, you know? Um, you know, you normally slice with your blade perpendicular to the board. So when you, uh, slice down, the, the blade comes in flat contact with the board and makes a nice smooth cut through the thing you're cutting. Lift up the blade a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit so that the back of the blade doesn't actually touch the board. And when you slice, you won't actually go all the way through the cucumber, but you'll go almost all the way. So when you're done slicing, you can just pick up the cucumber, it'll be nice and solid. And then you can just like, peel off these little cucumber slices, because they're already pre-sliced and just hanging on by just a little bit, and you can just like, peel them right off. It's a nice convenient way to eat cucumber. You know, you can slice it into the, the, the... Like little like rectangles of cucumber, you know. You can do that. I'm not a fan of the the cucumber rectangles though, for for like a snack. They have their place in sushi. They don't have their place in like my mouth as a snack though. I like slices. It goes good with yogurt too. Okay, if you if you do like a big rectangle of, of uh, you cut it like quarter the the cucumber, you know. You can dip that in some yogurt. It's pretty good. But even then, I prefer the slices because you can kind of like scoop up some yogurt, and it's a good, it's a good thing all around. Cucumber and yogurt go really well together. So it's a fabulous combination. Almost as well as cucumber and like a nice, just like buttery, salty cracker. They go very well. Very delightful indeed. Now that's bullet time. One of my one of my favorite snacks in the world. Have to clarify that. One of my favorite snacks in the world is is um Maybe it does some cool stuff. like a nice buttery Could cracker. Nice buttery salty cracker. It's got it's got to be salty. Not super salty, but there there's got to be a you know, an amount of salt involved here. Um, with uh, a nice, like, you know, fairly thick slice of cucumber, maybe like six or seven millimeters. Um, and, uh, and a nice hyper thin piece of hot salami. Hot Genoa is my favorite, of course, but any hot salami will do. But it's got to be thin. Can't have a thick piece of salami. It's gotta be thin. Just doesn't do it if it's not thin, you know. It's, it's gotta be like uh, really thin and like wrap around the cucumber and add a, a, a nice little like spicy, meaty flavor to the uh, to the whole thing. It's just delicious. It's it's so good. You be dead. There's nothing better, man. If you're, look, if you're looking for a snack, that's 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 your new thing, okay? That's 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 the new thing here. There's crackers, cucumbers, and salami. I haven't watched Futurama in a while. That voice I was—I wasn't trying to do a Futurama voice there, but it kind of came off a, a little bit as one, you know, a, a little bit. I'm sure you—I'm sure you might be able to somewhat recognize it. I wasn't going for it. 
okay? I wasn't, I wasn't trying to, to sound like it. But what I did there kind of reminds me of uh, the um, the dude who's always chasing after Leela. What's his name? Cannot remember. Cannot remember. Who's the dude that's always chasing Leela? Who's the dude that's always chasing Leela? Um. No. Uh, Futurama characters. It is Zap Brannigan. Correct. Yeah, Zap. Let's see if we can get. Uh, Nah, I was gonna see if we could find like a voice clip of him, but nah. Zap Brannigan is kind of the voice that that what I just did there. No, nah, again, I wasn't trying to do it. So if if you're like, it wasn't it wasn't that good. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't that good. Okay, but it's just, just kind of you know the 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 cadence of it all kind of reminds me of it. And I haven't watched Futurama in a while. It's a good show though, right? It's it's a, it's a classic, I think. I mean, you can't really call it a classic, I guess. It's it's too modern for that, but it's it's definitely for me a very uh, nostalgic show. Is it still running? Futurama. No. No, I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. I think uh, Simpsons is still running, right? Yeah, Simpsons is still running. Like, holy crap. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, but Futurama's not. There's only like seven seasons or whatever, I think. That's what it said. Um, it's a good show. I really like Futurama. I should watch it again. SpongeBob's a good one as well. Sometimes there are a few shows that I go back to every now and then. And, uh, and watch from time to time. SpongeBob is one of them. Futurama is one of them. Family Guy is not. You know, Family Guy. I know that Family Guy is a is a, is a popular childhood cartoon. You know, um, it's it's enjoy if it's on. I'm not gonna complain. You know, like if it's there, it's fine. I've uh, I haven't actually watched the whole thing through though, ever. I mean, it's just too much for me. And it's like you know, you watch like ten episodes of Family Guy, and like you've watched enough, in my opinion. I want to watch it all through. I like it. It's just uh, it doesn't it doesn't capture me as uh, as it needs to 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 motivate me to watch the whole thing through. You know, Futurama does. SpongeBob definitely does. SpongeBob is fantastic. At least the older seasons. I think SpongeBob is still running, right? But like they're not good. Yeah, SpongeBob is still running, but but the new ones are just not as good. In my opinion, or in like a lot of people's opinions, Pokemon's still running. That's a crazy one, right? How many episodes of Pokemon are there? How many episodes of Pokemon are there? That's not answering my question. That's just a list of the episodes. I'm not counting. Uh, 1,100 episodes of Pokemon. Insane. I used to watch Pokemon. I got. I was. Uh, I was banned from watching Pokemon after the scene when. Uh, Ash had to leave Charizard at the mountain because he didn't have enough badges to control Charizard anymore. And then I was like crying because uh, Ash had to leave Charizard and it was a super sad scene that my mother made me never ever watch Pokemon again because it was like traumatizing me apparently. And I was going to have nightmares. And I'm like, no, but like I just need to know what happens to Charizard. Anyway. But uh, fa uh, Futurama is one that I like to go back to every now and then. It's a fun show, you know? I like it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more of the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.